NASA looks at going to the moon one day and to Mars and to get to Mars, they're going nuclear. Around our nearest neighbors in the Alpha Centauri system, exploration is underway. At the moment, a proposed telescope project will be on the lookout for planets in the star system that's four light years away. Alpha Centauri, which is 4.37 light years away, is the nearest star and planetary system to Earth. However, using the technology we have now, it would take a person about 6,000 years to get there. In order to navigate the huge distances between Alpha Centauri, other exoplanets, and our own solar system, we will need to create a new mode of interstellar space travel. Could we realistically hope to visit any of the nearby stars? How does NASA plan to get to these faraway planets? In this video, we will talk about NASA's plan to use light speed technology to travel to Alpha Centauri. Let's dive right into the video. A new way to travel to Alpha Centauri is being explored. Outer space is big, really, really, really big. Because of this, NASA has no plans right now to send a spacecraft to any of the several thousand known planets outside our solar system. But if we wanted to plan a trip, Alpha Centauri would be a good place to go, it is the star system closest to our sun. Despite its closeness, ordinary rockets won't work for star travel, they are much too slow. In 2022, researchers at Penn Engineering and the Breakthrough Starshot Initiative announced that they were working on a new method of traveling to the nearest star system. Their new concept involves a more durable solar sail. If successful, this technology could allow a probe to reach Alpha Centauri in as little as 20 years. The researchers have published two new peer-reviewed papers outlining the concept, both found in ACS publications and published in 2021 and 2022, respectively. The idea of Breakthrough Starshot originated with a statement made by Russian high-tech tycoon Yuri Milner in April 2016. He launched Breakthrough Starshot, an ambitious program investing $100 million in proof-of-concept studies for a brand new space travel technology. The goal is to travel to the Alpha Centauri system in just 20 years at 20% of the speed of light, where it may hopefully find the recently identified planets Proxima b and c. But is it possible? Researchers have been trying to answer that question. In theory, a spaceship with a solar sail should be able to travel to other stars. However, in real life, the sail has to be strong enough to last the long journey to Alpha Centauri. The new studies focus on making a solar sail that is stronger and can last longer. Igor Bargatin of Penn Engineering explains that we will need relativistic speed, something close to the speed of light, to reach another star within a human lifetime. The idea of a light sail has been around for a long time, but researchers are just now figuring out how to ensure these designs can withstand the trip. The new probe being planned is very small about the size of a microchip. The sail is approximately 10 feet, 3 meters, wide and is incredibly thin, about a thousand times thinner than a sheet of paper. It is made of extremely thin sheets of molybdenum disulfide and aluminum oxide. Researchers say that this tiny probe from Earth could travel up to one-fifth the speed of light with the help of lasers. In earlier versions, solar sails were only powered by the sun. However, Starshot's new design would use ground-based lasers to accelerate the sail. The light intensity would be a million times brighter than if only sunlight were used. However, to achieve this, the sail must be strong enough to withstand tearing or melting. One proposed solution, described in the first research paper, is to make the sail act like a parachute rather than a flat sheet. A sail with depth equal to its width could endure the immense force of hyperacceleration, thousands of times stronger than the force of gravity on Earth. Bargatin explained that a tightly stretched sail, whether on a boat or in space, is much more likely to tear. While the concept is easy to grasp, extensive mathematical calculations were needed to demonstrate how these materials would behave at this scale. Matthew Campbell, the lead author of the first paper, explained that laser photons will fill the sail much like air inflates a beach ball. 
similar to how fuel tanks on rockets and propane tanks are round or cylindrical to prevent cracking, the light pressurized container should have a similar design to prevent damage. The second paper focuses on how to dissipate heat from the laser. Researchers believe the answer lies in nanoscale patterning, also known as nanolithography. This is a branch of nanotechnology that involves imprinting, writing, or etching microscopic patterns. A Swart Raman of Uckler explained that the sails would become extremely hot if they absorbed even a tiny amount of laser light. To prevent them from falling apart, they must radiate as much heat as possible, the only way heat can dissipate in space. To enhance heat dissipation, earlier designs included regularly spaced holes in the sail material, creating a photonic crystal effect. However, the new study suggests an alternative approach, tying squares of sail fabric together in a grid. This increases the sail's resistance to tearing and melting. The spacing between holes matches the wavelength of light, while the spacing between fabric swatches matches the wavelength of heat. This allows the sail to handle stronger initial laser acceleration, meaning the lasers won't need to remain focused on the sail for as long. This all sounds promising, but why can't we just use conventional rockets? Consider the space shuttles that only reached low Earth orbit, a few hundred kilometers above the planet's surface. If Earth were the size of a grain of sand, that distance would be about the width of a hair while the distance to Alpha Centauri would be equivalent to 6 miles, 10 kilometers. We have launched spacecraft that are now leaving the solar system, including Pioneer 10 and 11, Voyager 1 and 2, and New Horizons. However, they are moving very slowly compared to the speed required for interstellar travel. If Voyager 1 were heading toward Alpha Centauri, it would take tens of thousands of years to get there. For example, Voyager 1 is expected to pass within 1.6 light years of the star AC plus 79,388 in about 40,000 years. Meanwhile, Voyager 2 will pass 4.3 light years away from Sirius, the brightest star in the sky, in approximately 296,000 years. What about New Horizons, the spacecraft that explored Pluto? It travels at 36,373 miles per hour, 58,536 kilometers per hour. If it were headed toward Alpha Centauri, it would take about 78,000 years to reach its destination. Clearly, conventional rockets are too slow. Could a warp drive be the answer? Science fiction often portrays faster than light travel, but real world physics makes it difficult to comprehend space time at that scale. However, Harold, Sonny, White, a former head of NASA's advanced propulsion team, explored a concept called the Alcubierre warp drive, based on a 1994 idea by Mexican physicist Miguel Alcubierre. This theoretical model suggests that warping space time could allow for faster than light travel. Interstellar space flight powered by 100 million lasers is the foundation of Breakthrough Starshot. The initiative relies on key technological advancements, such as light sails, which were successfully demonstrated in 2019 with the Light Sail Tube project inspired by Carl Sagan. The biggest challenge is building a laser array capable of focusing millions of beams with extreme precision. According to Dr. Ward of the ANU Research School of Physics, the required optical power is around 100 gigawatts, about 100 times the capacity of the world's largest battery. The ANU team estimates that about 100 million lasers will be needed. To maintain laser alignment, a guide laser satellite in Earth's orbit will act as a conductor, ensuring the beams stay on target. The next step is testing small-scale components in the lab developing algorithms for weather correction, and refining laser control techniques. Researchers will continue refining the solar sail concept. A few years ago, such ideas seemed far-fetched, but now they are based on real materials being tested in laboratories. The goal is to build and test these structures on a small scale using high-powered lasers. The vastness of interstellar space presents an enormous challenge, but a new solar sail may enable us to reach Alpha Centauri in just 20 years. That wraps up this discussion.
Do you think a light sail powered by millions of lasers could reach Alpha Centauri in 20 years? Share your thoughts in the comments below.